Imagine you're doing a survey of your small town to find out the income of all the residents. You can take the average of these incomes to find out the average income of your town. Except, wait, how can the average be higher than everyone's income? Well, if you zoom out, you discover that one resident, a single outlier, has destroyed your data set to the point where 80% of the town's residents have an apparently below average income. Now, clearly this example is somewhat contrived, but the effect is real. In the UK, for instance, the mean income of all the residents is about £8,000 higher than a more representative middle of the data set. So what can we do about this? Well, first, we should try to work out what we really want in an average. A reasonable suggestion is that the average should split the data set into two equal parts. To do this, you could imagine putting all your data points in order, like you can see here, and crossing off a data point from each side going inwards. By doing this, you can maintain two equally sized parts. Simply repeat this until you reach the middle of the data set, which is your average. This works great for data sets with an odd number of points, but things become more difficult when you have an even number of points. As you can see, you actually end up crossing off all your data points. Luckily, this is quite easy to fix. We simply create a new data point that's halfway between our middle two points, so in this case the average is £12,500. This type of average is called the median, and it's useful because it better represents what people intuitively assume an average is. But I don't want the takeaway from this video to be that medians are always better than means. They aren't. The lesson really is that statistics is as much an art as it is a science. The correct tool for the job is often a matter of interpretation. Because of this, it's extremely easy to mislead people, even unintentionally, using statistics. So be careful, and always take care to make sure that you're using the best tool for the job.